Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's Tales. In this installment, we'll look at the ninth installment, which is Chocolate and Cheese. So this is a sports comedy drama, anyway, um, to do with basketball. Um, in fairness, I did play basketball back in the day, back in secondary school, which was a bit of fun, really. You know, I didn't do, it wasn't the best player, but it's just one of those things I do remember, you know, I think doing well, actually, and everyone just sort of hold around and let me up in the air, really. So that's one, that's one interesting thing. Um, so, I thought about this because, you know, like, there, might, there, there are basketball movies, of course, stuff like Glory is One. Is it Glory? Um, is it? I know there's, like, films like Bring, like Bring It On and stuff like that, so I thought, maybe do this. You know, it's about a struggling high school basketball team just trying to try, try and get along with each other and just really do well. It's all about chemistry with this group, really. You know, like, people... It's like a, it's like a, a bunch of different totally people who have been put together and just you know trying to make it happen and get the chemistry right for the for the group really ends up not doing too well in 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 principle really. You have a mixture of male and female in this one as well. So rather than have an all male team or all male female team, it's all mixed together. This is and it really shows really because you because you have the sort of. Um, I think, of course, you know, like, you know, the men are more tall, the are more better and taller, even though some of them are a bit sort of lackluster, really. You got the women, as the girls as well, you know, who are a bit, I don't know, well, who are a bit more, more headstrong and taking no shit, really, in this, in this sort of stage, in this school, really. There's also the thing of, like, you know, they have to be forced to share a, a locker room together, like a changing room together, which is a bit awkward, you know. I mean, for awkward for both, for both really, because you know you have to you have to shower together and everything like that. It's a bit, a bit strange, really. That is strange, but you sort of do that in the military as well. Sometimes, you know, if you're well, depends really. If you're in the military, what type of military you're thinking of, really? Um, but they have to they have to do this. They have to work they have to work together, and you know, rather not bitch around and everything else, and you know, take pot shots at each other. You know, they have to just basically fall in together and just you know make this basketball team happen and uh, um, the win to become Tom Notch and go through the map through the um through the various tournaments basketball tournaments you know at high at the high school scores around wherever really you know and yes that's that's really what it is really you know I suppose something like Space Jam was sort of an influence but not really you know no I've just seen some other films that sort of like just make it a bit, a bit more interesting really I mean, stuff like, um, what's that film? Up and Under. That's doing like a rugby team then. That's a, that's a British film and evolving a rugby team and they, and they get this woman to come in as well, which is pretty interesting. That's like late 90s, that is. So it's a similar thing to that, really, if you look at it. And pretty worthwhile. It's a bit like, again, it's like those basketball movies that meets Breakfast Club meets something else, really, you know. It does have that, it does have that sort of like tedious comedy side of course, high school comedy, as well that you see in certain movies like in the eighties and stuff really. So it is pretty good, and they sort of get, get the wits and just carry on to the end. You know, there's a bit of a climatic thing, of course, when one is down, of course, one is down or injured or something, and basically just you know decide to. Um, you know, carry on, carry on. He some, somehow manages to ca manages to keep it all together and stuff like that, even though he is bit severely injured. And it's like, yeah, really. And that's it, really. That's with chocolate and cheese, really. So it's a pretty, pretty, it's all right story, really, to be honest. You know, like, sort of an all right pitch. Sports story is not really my type of type of jam, really. But there you go. You got what? There's one anyway, so it's pretty pretty. It has to be varied sometimes. So I thought, you know, it's probably nice. Uh, the name it actually comes from a Ween album. If you have the band called Ween, there's an album called Chocolate and Cheese from '94. Picture of like um, there's like a wrestler woman with a big belt on or something like that. And it did look quite like sporty, like if it's promoting a film or something like that, like a high school comedy type style. In my head, so I thought, why not choose that title? It sort of works anyway. Chocolate and cheese, you know, it's like hmm, chalk and cheese, you know, it's like a little play on that really. But I really did thought through it. There you go, guys. Chocolate and cheese. That's number nine in the fifty situations line. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, see you for the next video and goodbye.